everyone welcome to my channel my name is marina and today's video is going to be a full face using tarte cosmetics pretty much full face a few things i didn't use but i'll explain it as i go along literally it was just brows and powder um and that's it so this is my final result using all tarte products so if you would like to see how i achieve this look and see many reviews of all the products then please keep on watching thanks Okay, so my eyes are all primed and set. I don't have any eye primer from Tarte, so I just used an alternative. So I'm going to start off with a transition shade, and I'm going to use the shade Bowl. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and run that through my crease. Next I'm going to take the shade Purr from the Man Eater palette. It's like another neutral but it's more kind of pinky neutral. I do want to keep this very warm and pinky toned because the lips are a pinky shade. Moving back onto the top palette I'm going to take the shade Mod which is a nice plummy pink shade on the same fluffy brush. This is a MAC 224. I use this brush all the time just for packing colour into the crease. So I'm going to take a bit of the shade Drama which is a deep purple. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer corners of my crease. I don't know what has happened to my brush. Damn star pro probably. Because it is not pretty. Literally I don't think I can even use this brush anymore. taking a bit more of that pinky shade just to blend everything together so with the brush that came with the Manta collection just looks like this I'm going to take this side and from the Manita palette take the shade Passion and this is going to go on my brow bone Anyway, using this side, I'm going to take the shade Midnight. I really love this palette because it's just all warm shades. And I'm just going to pack this on my outer corner and just bring it slightly up into the crease. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend that in. I'm going to take a bit more of that purr just to blend everything together nicely. I'm going to take the shade Foxy and pack that all over my eyelid and I might, I'm going to take Hypnotic which is this shade here and maybe just put that on the outer corner here so let's begin. Okay, now I'm going in with that hypnotic colour. Meh. It's not going well. It's not going well. Scrap that. I'm just gonna keep it nice and uh, shimmery. So I'm not really getting 
great colour payoff. So what I'm going to do is take the Tarte Contour Tarteist Volume 3 palette, which I'm going to be using on my face in a minute. Um, and I'm going to take this shade in the middle, I'm going to spray my brush of Fix Plus as well, and then just pack that on my lid. Still not doing it for me. my inner corners I'm gonna take the shade lace I do think these shimmery shades work better with an eyeshadow base I did use one yesterday or when I last did my makeup and it came out really nice but I just don't think they're coming off as pigmented as they would if you use like a shimmery base underneath so but I did want to just keep this um, look using as much tart products as possible and I don't have any tart eyeshadow bases so hence why I did not use one but it's not too bad I'm just gonna take a bit more foxy on my finger and just tap it on again I do think if you use your finger you get more colour payoff that's better beautiful so I'm going to line my eyelids, I do not have a Tarte um, liquid eyeliner so I will just be using one from a different brand. For mascara I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I used this the other day and whoa, it made my lashes look really voluminous and really long. going to be wearing false lashes so I'm not going to go too mad but this just gives an incredible amount of length and it doesn't go clumpy at all see that is just one layer I think that's really amazing so let's zoom this is the Man Eater Tarte Eyeliner So I'm going to line, oh how does this work, I don't know how it sharpens, if you know tell me in the comments. Okay so today I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Medium Honey, I have never used this before, so this is kind of like a first impression. So I'm going to be using a Blank Canvas Cosmetics F20 brush and spray it with a bit of fix plus I really love the packaging and I don't know if the shade is going to be right because I ordered this off QVC I think it's going to be too dark oh it's really thick ooh ooh weird it's like a mousse Okay, well let's try this for now. Okay, so that was one layer. Definitely not full coverage. If I zoom in a little bit, you can still see all of my scars. So that is not full coverage. Um, so let's try another layer. Moosey, but really thick. Yeah, I'm not impressed with this coverage at all, considering it's quite an expensive foundation. Um, and yeah, it says it's full coverage. That is not full coverage. Why you lie? Why you lie? Yeah, full coverage if you have like amazing skin, which I don't. Don't make me mix another foundation in to make this work. I 
Okay, I'm quite liking the finish now. That's a lot better. Covered a lot more of my scars. I've got some showing through on my chin, but I'm going to conceal anyway, so... Oh! This brush came with it. I'm going to use this for my powder. I was meant to use this with the foundation but I totally forgot so I'll use that for powder um, anyway I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral this is a perfect shade for me the doe foot applicator is huge it's more of like a cons um, <laughs> if you tried the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation a little bit goes a long way with this concealer like you do not need much just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just blend the edges just so it kind of blends in with my foundation just under my eyes there. Look really pale now compared to my neck. Okay, it is quite a bit paler than my neck actually. So I've got a spray tan the other day. Oh dear. But for the purpose of this video, when I'm not tanned, that will be a match. Let's just sit like this. It's fine, I'm gonna bronze. It will be good. All oh, good. Let's go. So powder, I'm using the Jane Arzell Press Powder because I don't have a tart powder. I'm going to bake using the Coty Airspun Powder, I absolutely adore this powder, even though my friend says it's an old lady powder. It might smell like old ladies, but it does a really good job with highlighting so I'm going to press this under my eyes she's like just get the Laura Mercier powder no that bitch no this is cheap comment below if you know who I'm talking about or if you know who you are you know who you are so I'm using the Tartist Pro Contour Palette this is just amazing for travelling. It literally has everything you could need. So I'm using, I'm going to use this blush, this highlighter. Um, yeah, I'll go for the lighter bronzer and then the contour. Um, my eyeshadow always transfers up. Damn hooded eyelids. And then I'm taking ethereal which is one of the oh my god stop one of the foiled shades and just running that under as well i'll show you it in just a moment though. ethereal is that one there the goldy shade and then I'm going to take a bit of the highlighter from the Pro Palette and just give my inner corners a bit more of a little pop. So first I'm taking that contour shade. I'm taking that light bronzer on a Jane Ardell Toon brush. I love this brush for bronzer. This is a gorgeous bronzer. It's really warm. It has got shimmer in it. So if you don't like a shimmery bronzer, then 
don't use this. I feel like I did need quite a lot though to get that intensity. I'm going into the Man Eater palette and I'm taking that shade Lace because it's meant to be a facial highlighter as well so I'm just gonna use it for the centre of my face. And then moving on to the lips. This is the Tarte Lip Sculpture Lipstick and Lip Gloss in the shade Kind. Oh that's so cute. That's what it looks like. That's such a sweet name. Let's try and stay in frame for this whole lipstick application, which never happens, so... So that is the lipstick. I think that is a beautiful colour. This is really moisturising, soft, creamy. <laughs> And that shade is stunning. Um, I am going to go in with the lip gloss. It's a tiny amount of lip gloss. Nice little dye foot. Mm, smells really good. Pretty much exactly the same colour. This lip gloss is really lovely not sticky really moisturizing it doesn't feel horrible at all so i'm just gonna go off camera and apply some false lashes but that's just the mascara but i'm gonna apply falsely so hi everyone so i've just applied my false lashes and this is the final outcome of basically almost everything from the brand Tarte so it mainly featured the Tarte Man Eater collection I'm gonna have a whole separate video showing what you get in there so make sure you check that out as well probably be up before this to be honest um, so I have that linked at the end of the video so make sure you check it out it's an amazing set so I'd highly recommend it but yeah I am really happy with the outcome I really rate Tarte products I think they're amazing love this lippy so much Thank you so much for watching please make sure you hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment if you want to all my social media and all the products i use will be linked in the description box below so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye